So this yes. this slide uh, shape basically um, responds to your question on breakdown of the revenue by region, north, east, west, and south. Mm-hmm. You try to compute the total revenue for nineteen. For that, we have only one quarter data, so we have done it for that one quarter. And relating, I mean, you have given us the data actually, and then we have seen how to compute from there potentially the number of agents. So we, I mean, we did a very simple thing: the absence of any rule. We just put a uh, target for each of the agents in terms of sales, sales targets, and then based on that, we computed the number of agents. Mm-hmm. So uh, that gave us some agents. So it said four agents for the north, four agents for the east, two for the west, and four for the south. Uh, for some reason, west seems to have lower revenues. You can see that in the next is a figure also, right? I mean, the next, yeah. So west seems so, to have. I don't know why west has lower revenues, considering that what you mentioned, Pune, Bombay being one of the clusters. Uh, so maybe I mean you can respond to these charts. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. It's a, it's a good analysis where where we are looking at regional regional revenues and, and the focus, right? So uh, we can see that on those three months of the quarter, right? Definitely, it appears like uh, the eastern region is is quite high, and so it's uh, the northern region. Uh, and, and this depends on the particular mix of customers for this particular uh, company, Ace Gears. Uh, they do a lot of business with some of the OEMs that have a uh, big manufacturing presence in the east, like Jamshedpur cluster, and also in Uttarakhand in the Pantnagar uh, auto cluster. So that's why you see uh, somewhat higher. And of course, they do have supply to the, the south. They don't particularly have a strong customer base in the west. Although it is an important sector for auto industry, so that's something they have to work on, right? This also shows. So, top if you management. go back to the previous previous slide, uh, Blin. So uh, here we have just simply divided the revenue by some number target, and we have got that four, two, four, and four. <clears throat> but strictly speaking, uh, when you do planning, one would probably think that we should put more agents in West because that's where you want to increase the sales, right? Yes. Yes, I think this is uh, probably in, uh, yeah, it is, we could look at a different basis. I think the way that uh, uh, was worked out by the team was, they said, look, uh, we will give, uh, we will appoint agents where based on the on the existing sales quantity to make sure the customer service is, is, is improved and all that. And I think for every 4,000 units, they wanted to appoint one agent Something like that, right? So that's yeah. that's what the distribution is. But I, think, I think the number is yeah, five thousand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. The focus of the agent is actually to grow new business, not just take take care of existing business. Then we should probably focus more on the West, where there is a good base of manufacturing auto industry, and we don't yet have good enough sales, right? So the sales agents should actually be higher. But this could be like customer service agents who are just taking care of existing business, like making sure the, the the shipments are reaching on time and logistic issues are worked out and invoicing is handled properly um, and collections are handled properly, those types of things. So in sales, they, yeah. they use the, the term hunters and farmers. Right? Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. So this is, this is more like farming. This is like maintenance, maintenance yeah. of existing customers. Whereas if you want to hunt or you want to find, open up new customers, then you need to add on top of this some additional agents in the West, specifically for hunting new customers. Absolutely. Very good insight there. And this could be a recommendation to the management. Yeah. Okay. We we uh, also should wanted your uh, advice. So we did look at this data in two different visual representations. Uh, a bar chart side by side or a stacked bar chart and uh, which do you think makes more sense from a management perspective uh, i like this one that we're seeing right now right the stacked one because it it is simpler for me to visualize there's not so many bars on the page and it also gives me the insight into 
how is it actually broken down by region? So you're, you're using fewer uh, objects in the chart, but still representing the same richness of information. So from a visual representation perspective, our goal is always to convey the most insight uh, with, the, with the least crowded chart, right? So, so I always mm -hmm. look at that look very simple, but convey lots and lots of different insights. Uh, by looking at a very simple, uncluttered kind of a presentation uh, of the data, right? So I like this one versus the other one, which had, um, I think- And this one does seem a little cluttered, no? This, this does seem a little cluttered. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. In fact, if you see the, the total is also conveyed with the same, so you don't need the separate line because in this chart, the the, addi the additive of all the four slices is clearly visible. Where is the top of each bar? I I, I can just see that versus looking for right. a line, right? So it's very uncluttered. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. So so I think that is an interesting learning. You know, when you're trying to uh, visualize the data, it's important to play around with a couple of formats and try and select a format which is least cluttered but conveys the most information i think uh, that is uh, that's a good learning from this slide absolutely and sometimes what you will find and what i have found from my experience is sometimes you get into complex topics there is so much information to be conveyed right and you and you may sometimes only get one slide uh, to actually convey because it's a top management presentation we have only 5 minutes you can only put in one slide but you want to convey like i don't know five different insights or six different insights that is the science and the art right like how do you create a chart that is uncluttered it uses uh, very few structures right but yet at the same time manages to convey uh, all of those insights in that one slide um, so that's a very important um, uh, skill that uh, people in the data and analytics field Need to need to pick up as a visual representation of information, and how do we excel in that uh, in that aspect? So, Shiv, on the, slide, the the one with the percentages, the stack graph with the percentage on the right one, we can see basically that the north region, the percentage contribution has been relatively stable. Mm -hmm. Your Panthagar cluster, whatever you said, right? Yeah. Whereas, if you see that some things have declined, some things have increased actually, percentage wise. Yeah. Actual number, we don't know. I'm saying percentage wise. So, if you look. In some sense, it looks like uh, there has been some compensation between East and West. So some reduction has happened in the East and it has got compensated by an increase in the West or something like that. Yes. Yes, that is true. I think what has happened there is probably some kind of uh, shutdown or labor issue or something in the East, uh, which may have contributed in December to a, to a much lower output there um, so you see only 18 percent so it went from 71 um, uh, to 34 right from a quantity sense almost half uh, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, and in the west actually it went up so probably you know maybe you know some winning some additional customers in the west may have happened and then some issues in the existing customer base may have happened in the east which results in a uh, reduction of orders or, or they may have prioritized one customer in one month and another customer in another month. Does it happen? Yes. But also remember another thing that's happened during this time is the reduction of BS6, uh, sorry, BS4, uh, uh, rather the final ah. final leap of BS4. So there was a hump, if you remember, of hmm. BS4 components that the East-based, probably the customer were the one that were trying to pump as many way possible uh, so if they need to sell by March, they need to probably need the components in October. So they may have been a rush of orders during that time that then slowed down by December. Okay. So this, these are really interesting, right? How these charts can really make us uh, draw the equivalent, act, uh, what happened in the business and why therefore the charts are showing, the numbers are showing. So these are really um, excellent uh, ways to prompt such discussions, right?